tutorial, I will be showing you how to install Mac OS 10.5.7 on a PC. Now what you're going to need is a PC with at least 1 gig RAM and 6 gigabytes of space. And you're also going to need something to burn the disk for the torrent file I'm going to give you. What you're also going to need is a torrent client to download the torrent of iDenim version 1.5.1. The link will be in the description right over there. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you want to dual boot Mac OS X, you're going to need to go into Start. Right click on Computer. Click Manage. Go into Disk Management. Right here. And now... There's my partition of Mac OS right there. Now, if you if you should only have like two of these because one should be the uh, restore disk. So you want to go into your main drive, which is C. Right click, shrink volume, and it'll query it. And then you just put in the amount that you want. Okay. So after you're done burning the disk, mine is right here. I'm going to shut off my computer. Now what you're going to want to do is go into your boot menu, which my, for me it's F10. For you it could be anything, I don't know. So, okay, so now we're in the boot menu. Now what you're going to want to do is select your DVD drive. Actually, first you're going to want to put in your disk of Mac of iDenob, which you burned. Put in the disk close it. Now, your boot menu should look something like this. What you're going to want to choose is your DVD drive. As you can see, it says HLDTST DVD RW. And this is the type of disk drive it is. As you can see, below it is my hard drive. But you don't want to choose that, you want to choose the disk. So what you're going to want to do is press enter on the disk, which is highlighted. Enter. Now you're going to get a sign that says press any key to boot from the CD-ROM. It should look like this. Click it. And it should load. And there might be any errors, but don't worry. It is supposed to do this. Okay, so now once, you, once it's done loading, you should get a screen that looks like this with an identical background. And it should ask you what language. So what we're going to do is choose English or whatever your primary language is. Press next. It's going to prepare the installation. Just wait. Okay, now we're going to press continue. And we're going to, it's going to put up the license agreement. Just agree. Because no one reads that. Now, when you have a destination, you shouldn't have anything here. So now what you're going to want to do is go into utilities disk utility and this should disappear and you'll get the disk utility will come up now we're gonna it's gonna get all the disk information of your hard drive now right here is all it is your hard drive right there it says the total amount of hard drive right here now you should have either like three partitions or two partitions choose the partition you you made for Mac OS X mine's right here go into erase now you're gonna wanna make it erase it to Mac OS extended journal name it whatever you want I recommend Mac OS X and press erase now it, it should only take a couple seconds and when you're done exit out choose you want to want to use press continue and then press install okay we're almost there now all we have to do is boot from our uh, keep the disk in make sure you keep the disk in whenever you boot you're gonna have the disk in because it has the bootloader but after but once you start up you can take it out and put in whatever disk you want we're gonna want to go into our boot menu again when it's done it might reset itself and do some settings and when we're all finished we're gonna want to go into the boot menu click on our DVD drive and the same thing should pop up 
but instead of pressing a key to start from the CD-ROM, we're not going to press anything, and this should come up, it should load it all, and Mac will come up. After it's done loading, congratulations, you have just installed Mac OS 10.5.7 on your PC. Right here, you can see 10.5.7 Identip, and it works f completely. If you're having any troubles with networking, just download the drivers that you need. And it works perfectly. I'm going to open iChat, Dashboard. There it is. So, congratulations. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions on how to do this, any trouble, just comment on the below the video. And rate it five stars. It'll help me out a lot. So, thanks. Remember to subscribe if you want more videos like this. Peace.